SNES Drunk. And welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays Secret of Mana. We just defeated the double headed dragon thingy. So now the next step is what exactly? I think we need to go to the uh, Cannon Travel Center nearby. I think that's what she said. I wasn't really paying attention. I was busy rambling about something else entirely. Uh, should be the one right over here by Kodos Village. Out of the way. Might as well kill this guy since he's asking for it. Yep, right over here. Yep. Kill that fucker first. Should be this fellow here. Ah, yes. Upper land is where we want to go. Upper land is huge! Reminds me of one of the one of the lamest, but also one of the goofiest and like funniest. Conversely, the funniest Saturday Night Live skit with uh, Rob Schneider as Tiny Elvis, and that's literally the whole joke: is that he's Elvis, but he's really small, and every time he sees something, he goes, "Oh man, that's huge!" That's that's the whole gag. Old Saturday Night Live had all sorts of, like, irreverent crap like that. And by old, I mean 90s, like Dana Carvey, uh, Phil Hartman. Like, those, that, that's the era I grew up with. And it was a lot more political back then, like, a lot more political. Al Franken was a writer back then, so. I just remember massive head wound Harry. He's got this, like, huge oozing head wound on the side of his head. Goes to a party and... Oh, I feel dizzy. I think I should lie down. He lies down and gets blood all over this white couch. And then the dog starts chewing on it, chewing on his head wound. Oh, that's right. I already did all that crap. Eh, I don't have any orbs yet. Da -da -da. Okay. So we are here in the Happy Dappy Rappy Village. First thing we need to do is get out of here and... Oh, we're in the fall. I don't want to go this way. We're in the Z winter Right now. Yeah, that's right. This is this part of the game. So I hope you like this music. I hope you like this little melody here because it's all you're going to be hearing for the next long while. Actually, that's not true. They do a few music changes when we get to the village and such. Ah. Do you have anything new, Nico? Any, any more overpriced bullshit I can get? Mm, I think I have those. And I bitch about this every single time, but uh, it doesn't show what you already have. And I'll load up on chocolate here. Oops. All right, let's equip this. And, uh, yeah. I'm not sure it really... Oh, it is a big difference, actually. It's five extra defense. Yeah, I've got everything else already. You have to check it your damn self, because the game doesn't tell you. Oh, jeez, big-ass sneeze. Oh, look, that rabbi's trying to attack us while we're busy transacting things. You know what? I just noticed that she, Penny, the girl, can also equip this. So I will get... Ugh. Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. That's That was really stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of this fuck stick. Jeez. Equip this real quickly. <laughs> now, how can she equip that? She doesn't have rabbit sprite ears. And let's sell this shit right back through. No, don't save, you motherfucker. God. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Don't need either of these. One for half because I'm an idiot. Don't really have much to talk about today. Just playing the game. Silktail is not still spaced out. You can stop telling me that. 
Oh, that's right. I, I did a bunch of shit before I started talking to her. Everybody leveled up. So that's nice. Yeah, these crabs here are really fucking annoying because they have a lot of different, uh, all sorts of different uh, attacks. Like they have this boomerang claw shell thing that comes at you and does a lot of damage. All right, so we're in spring right now. Just to be sure though, wait, what is over here? I don't think we can do anything over here yet. But uh, is this where I want to go? Drawing a blank here, so I'm just gonna. I remember you. You have to go all the way around. Oh man! Of course, again, I forget to rest up at the inn. So let's just give him a good old fairy walnut. That's the problem playing this game on the Retron Five. There's no need to save, so I don't need to go to the inns to rest. You know, to to save. So I just don't do it. Let's see if this does anything. Boom. Okay. Nope. Gotta unlock something first, apparently. Do I get another kind of magic out here? I honestly don't know. Is there anything else over here? What's up here? Can't go this way either. Man, I am drawing a blank on this area. Obviously, the seasons... Whoa, where'd this guy come from? Damn. I know, obviously, the seasons... This is the infamous level where you go in a circle and fight non-stop dudes enemies but all right we're in spring but just to be sure i want to go up to winter and go through spring the proper way get out of here first let's fight these guys because they're fun to fight now i can't even tell if it's the spear or the whip that's getting them spaced out so to speak i think that's the Whip that's doing that. All right, now we're in summer. Water thugs. Those things are a bitch too. You gotta keep your distance. <laughs> the facial expressions they put into these <laughs> these reaction shots are just are just great. It's the little things like that that really stand out in a game like this. And it's what games like, you know, the poor imitators of games like this, like Lagoon, and like, uh, uh, I don't know, what other, what other, like Brain Lord. Not that Brain Lord's bad, it's just lacking in the personality department. I can't even see where this guy is. Oh, that's right, you, you're not, I just remembered, you don't do the seasons thing yet. First, you gotta go to that village. I might have already said that and immediately forgot. My allergies and my subsequent allergy medication are making things a little hazy. See, these guys do some damage. So you gotta make sure you're fully, you got all the equipment. Oh, it is the spear that does that. Okay, it's not the whip. Whip, get, whip is tangled. Spear for some reason is something else entirely. Hey, cool, look at the dragon flying by. We'll get to meet... I don't know if that's the same dragon. now. it can't be. But, uh... We want to go up. Oh. In case you haven't noticed, this is a great place to level up. Probably the best place to level up, really. I, I think I've already climbed a couple levels. Do I want to... Is it this way for the village? It is. So they were sad because these assholes took over their village, so we need to get rid of them. So they can have it back. And these guys are a big pain in the ass because damage doesn't really register on them very easily. It's always kind of a cop out. It's like it's not like they're. I mean, I'm waving my sword right in their freaking face, and it's not registering. Yeah, it's just it's like, oh, they're evasive. Well, then show them being evasive, like the tigers, the boxing tiger dudes. Wow, that was a vicious attack there. All right. One down, two to go. Uh, I'm telling you. It's the allergies are the annual reminder that the Earth wants me dead. Just 
hate it. It's the Earth's way of saying, hey, here's all this stuff to kill you. Come on, how much how many hit points does this guy have? Jesus. There we go. And is there anything else up here? No. Alright, we're reaching the 10-minute mark. We're gonna call this an episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Nothing in here at all? Okay, fine. <laughs>